The avocado industry in New Zealand is relatively young, having been established about 30 years ago. A new management technique is now being introduced in some orchards to promote maximum production and ease of tree management. Avocado grower and agricultural journalist Hugh Stringleman owns Glengarry Orchard in Northland. I planted this orchard 10 years ago and so these trees have had about six years of production. We established on seven by seven metre spacings and the idea was that after about seven or eight years you would start taking every second tree out so that the remaining trees would have enough room to spread and to continue fruiting. But the new recommendation is that we should control the height of each tree and that we should not thin them out as far as possible. In other words, we keep the original density of planting. The trees get enormous because if you have reduced your number of trees by half and then perhaps half again sometime in the future, then the tree is just getting larger and larger and larger and they get so large that you can't actually access the fruit with the, the biggest of the hydro ladders, which is a, a 10 metre hydro ladder. And so you have an access problem, you also have a, uh, a spray pro problem uh, because you can't get the spray high enough to, to uh, control the pests. Now, what do you feel about a, a pretty severe prune on these trees here, Hugh? Well, I think it's about time for it. Yeah, for sure. They're getting too dense in the middle there. Yep. yep. Traditionally, in New Zealand, we haven't been enthusiastic about pruning trees. Now, that's going back over the last 20 years um, for the main reason that they are peripheral bearers, so they need to keep getting bigger to keep producing a crop. And the other issue is, is that our trees in New Zealand, with the production cycle that we have here, are always carrying fruit. There's always either old fruit or new fruit or both at the same time. So there's no opportunity to prune and not lose fruit. So growers are not enthusiastic about pruning. That, that's been a big hurdle for us. I think we all realize now that we have to sacrifice some fruit and we have to prune every year to keep the trees under control um, from a height point of view and, and from a crowding point of view. Walking into this site here, um, first of all we can see there's very little, very little grass growing between the trees. That's, a, that's always a, um, a, a, good, uh, a, good, a good flag that goes up and, and uh, tells us we're getting a little bit crowded. The trees are starting to touch and when they're touching within the work row, we know that our spray access over the tree is going to be impeded. So we want to open that space up between the trees. Once trees get this crowded, the bearing surface area is really only in the crowns of the trees. The production sites are only in the top of the tree and uh, that brings the bulk of the crop in the wind. It's out of reach of cherry pickers and out of reach of the sprays. The plan with these trees here would be to prune quite aggressively on the north side. It's the side of the tree that's going to renew that bearing canopy the fastest. W within 18 months we'll be back in production on that north side and then we'll continue to work around the tree. The kind of cuts we've made here are low vigour cuts. We've made cuts that are as flush as possible, not stumped cuts, and uh, that are cut back to another branch where possible. So we want to try and suppress or reduce that big vigour response that will follow in the spring. Um, there will be plenty of growth that then fills out on this exposed canopy. As you can probably see, we've bathed the centre of the tree in sunlight. Um, it's a north-facing hole, which is big enough to allow plenty of sunshine as the, as the sun moves across it. A regularly pruned tree will be constantly producing new bearing wood, and uh, regular pruning will mitigate the alternate bearing problem, which uh, is a big issue in our industry in New Zealand. When we have an off year and we're not going to get a lot of fruit, then that would be a really good year to do some of the shaping and pruning. It's a fairly radical surgery. The tree ends up at two thirds of its original shape and size. And so you just have to be confident that they will regrow and that they will have fruit in a couple of years time. <coughs> This program was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.